Day by Day, presented by First Community Credit Union. Life is better with community. Hey there. We're here to invite you to join First Community Credit Union. FCCU is the proud partner of the University of North Dakota Athletics. FCCU is here to coach you through every financial play. No turnovers. Only buckets. When you join FCCU, you get the full UND experience. Enjoy our exclusive UND credit and debit cards. So come see why. Life is better with community at First Community Credit Union. I think we really started fast. Uh, that's what Coach Frickty was emphasizing all week, just right away on offense. We went down there and we didn't get a touchdown, but we went down there and scored right away. I think that just gave us a lot of confidence going into the rest of the game. Uh, we did a great job on, on defense, getting some turnovers, um, and then the kids did a great job of playing hard, executing the plan, trusting their eyes uh, in what they have been taught through their preparation, and then uh, physicality, just doing a great job of being aggressive and and being physical up front, and, and that'll correct a lot of issues. So uh, really just team football, you know, that, that's the main message, and, and that's something we've been talking about all year, playing team football. You know, the punt block by Tyler was big for us, and the ball strip by Sam Strandell, and the recovery by Henry. Those are all big plays in the game, and really give you momentum, and then offensively, you need to go out and put those in the end zone. That's when it really counts. So was really pleased with our guys. They were ready for those situations and took advantage of those opportunities. I feel like every time we get the ball, it's, it's our job to score, but especially when we get it plus side of the 50, we already know the drive's probably gonna be pretty short. So we gotta guarantee points, and six points, in my opinion, is always better than three, so. Starting to execute at a higher level. Um, that's kind of the big focus, is we just wanna keep improving every week. And uh, we just want to be uh, intentional in our execution every week. We got to be focused on us and keep doing what we do. And uh, if we want to be the team that we want to be, if we want to play to the standard that we know we can play to, we just got to keep the foot on the gas and keep going. You know, I really like the complimentary football that we played when we needed to get picked up. Offense really responded to their scores and, you know, with some big plays and, all, and really did that throughout the game. So. Really good performance for our team, and then the second quarter when it was offense, defense, and special teams all doing it together was really awesome to be a part of it. It's pretty cool being a twin. Like, as you get older and stuff, you always got somebody to play catch with, and you want to go play outside, you always got somebody to go play with growing up. So, yeah, we just always kind of played on the same teams growing up. We always played sports, I always loved playing sports from a young age, so as we got older, our love for sports has grew. You're always together, um, driving into town every day for school. Um, you're together all the time, you're playing sports together all the time, playing catch in the front yard, playing one-on-one -on -one, uh, in the driveway, so yeah, you're together all the time, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, really two awesome young men, you know, hard working, came from small town North Dakota and taking advantage of their opportunity here. So I'm really excited for those guys. You know, Simon getting his first opportunity to start and Grant really is an important contributor on our team. But whatever you ask them to do, they're going to do it. You know, and they're just tough farm kids from North Dakota and I just love what they bring to our team. When Langdon had the ball, they were a problem to try and stop. And they're the one team that in high school that uh, Lisbon we couldn't beat. End of the second, Simon to Grant and the rest is history. Grant with four touchdowns including a pick six, Simon with five including a pick six. All of that before being pulled at halftime up 53 to six. But those two were always on such this like the same page creating. Um, always when Simon got out of the pocket, you knew Grant was going to be running up the sideline looking for the ball. So those two were probably the most difficult opponents I had to play. It was a lot of fun. You know, we had a lot of success, but it was just it was fun to be able to do it with a great group of guys. Uh, we had a lot of fun memories, a lot of 
big games, a lot of big wins. And I think just winning and doing it as a team and uh, doing it with my brother was just a really exciting, cool moment. You know, if you have a bad day, like he'll tell you straight up and you know, I'll do the same with him. But uh, just being able to go to him with everything, um, kind of like the first guy you talk to, you, you know, you trust him the most, obviously. You just tell you when you're doing good, when you're bad, when you gotta be better, when you gotta focus in more, uh, just stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's really nice to have. They're like the ultimate team guy, 100%. Both Grant and Simon, what they care about the most is the team's success, and that's it. Committed to this program, super, super hardworking kids, smart, intelligent football players, do a lot of great things uh, academically, uh, out in the community, uh, here for our football program, obviously, as well on the field. Coming up, obviously, it was like kind of the running joke, like, oh, now these guys are my teammates that kicked my butt in high school. They're not the most talkative people all the time, but I mean, you get to know those two. I mean, they're, they're a class B North Dakota kid. They put their head down, they work their butt off, and they, uh, they show up to work every day, which I think is the most important thing when it comes to Division I sports especially. So you gotta be the same guy every day, and the same teammate, and the same friend to everybody. And those two exemplify that, I'd say. Yeah, I think their teammates love them because they're great teammates. You know, they'll do anything for the team, they'll put the team's needs in front of their own, and that's why you see the response when they get in the end zone. So it's really great to see and that our guys value those two individuals, and especially Grant, you know, not getting the ball as much as Simon does this year, and then to see him get in the end zone and the response was really great. It's really cool, you know, it's something you, you dream about. Being a young kid, you always dream about playing college football and getting the opportunity to go and score a touchdown, it's really cool. Yeah, obviously it's, it's really special. Um, I don't think a lot of guys uh, can say that they, they play with their twin uh, at a Division I school especially in your home state. So I think it's a, it's a really cool thing and really special. And uh, you know, you'll probably appreciate it more down the road uh, looking back on it than right now, but it's definitely a, a really cool thing. Super special for them, um, super special for us to be a part of it as well. I mean, just really cool for those guys to go in and have success. Like I said, you know, they're, they're the ultimate team guys. So sometimes you don't see Grant as much because he's playing on special teams a bunch and doing a lot of good things. And uh, it's all about whatever's best for the team, you know, and that's their answer to everything. And uh, we're, we're super thankful to have them for that. Super blessed to have them part of this program. And we, we love those guys. Well, it's an opportunity to build a good win on your resume. You know, the highly ranked team in the country, very good opponent down at their place. I think it's an opportunity for our team really to grow and, you know, build trust and belief. And we know that there's going to be challenges throughout that contest, but we got to be really focused on our preparation so we can play fast and physical because we know they'll be ready. Obviously, it's a, it's a huge game for the state. And, uh, you know, you know, growing up here, obviously, you know that. And, uh, it's just, we just got to make sure we come ready right away. Um, they're a good team, so we got to make sure we're ready uh, to just come and start fast. Um, it's going to be loud. A lot of people I know are going to be at the game. You always kind of watch it growing up. You see their big games, um, and the Fargo Dome's always rocking. So it's going to be one heck of an environment, and I'm excited to go uh, compete in there. Uh, we got to be a really disciplined team and snap counts and our assignment and just have good communication with each other so we're talking to each other and we can do our assignment to our best of our ability. All that matters is the message that's being uh, said in this building and focus on us and what that means is that we continue to just get better day by day um, you know and continue to try and work to create consistency and be disciplined through our process so um, you know we're just focused on us and trying to take care of what we can control and uh, I think with that you'll see you know us continue to grow and get better. Yeah, they're they're obviously a really good team, really good program. We just gotta we gotta make sure we just keep preparing. Um, I think that's the biggest thing is just make sure uh, we prepare as well as we can and uh, just go and execute at a high level. You know, we've been down there a number of times. Some of our guys haven't ever been in there and played, so we'll try to prepare them as best we can by putting in those in those situations. But you know, and it should be fun. You should look forward to this and and be excited about this challenge. 